the railway minister Suresh Prabhu will be presenting the Modi government's first rail budget. Expectations are running high, major reforms are anticipated. The minister may lay the roadmap for attracting private investment in railways in a bid to raise more funds for project completions and infrastructure expansion. The rail budget is expected to focus less on populist measures. So let's now take a look at some of the changes or some of the moves that are expected. Now the minister will be looking to provide a major boost in investment due to falling fuel costs. Private public partnerships could be announced for new routes. Now the good news, no major fare hikes on the cards. But at the same time, there'll be no cut in passenger fares despite the windfall gains from reduced diesel costs. Also, there could be minor adjustments in fares of the Kal premium special trains. And not too many new trains due to a financial crunch being faced by the railway ministry. And finally, also better connectivity in northeast states, especially in border areas. Well, let's go across to our reporters now. Siddharth joins us from outside the railway bhavan while uh, Monedipa will jo is, joins us from Kolkata, Anand from Chandigarh and Nikita from Mumbai. But Siddharth, first you tell us about what, what the focus of this railway budget will be. What can we expect? Well, Gargi, I think as you said, a uh, couple of things. Uh, we are not really expecting any hike in fares and that perhaps, uh, according to many economists, would be not a good move because you would need to actually increase passenger fares. Uh, you've been actually subsidizing passengers uh, with the uh, freight uh, charges and that's something that economists really have not advocated for but of course that's a very unpopular move so we're not expecting to see any fair hikes. Having said that, uh, Prime Minister Modi himself has talked about the railways being the carrier for the economy, the, 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 uh, you know, the, the motivator for the economy, the engine for the economy. For that, they need investments and for that, as you said, public-private partnerships perhaps the way forward. We could see some of the innovative ways the railways planning to now rope in the private sector. That includes uh, branding of uh, several trains as well, uh, getting private sector to invest in railways and perhaps uh, they could even end up with a certain train being named after that particular corporate. So that that's something that the railway is looking at in terms of trying to mop up uh, additional revenue. Uh, they definitely want to also now increase the uh, freight carrying capacity of the railways. That's going to be interesting to see how the railway minister does that. Uh, last year, of course, the fares were increased by around 14 uh, percent, but that uh, led to a lot of opposition and uh, certain affairs had to be rolled back. So the railway minister is going to try and keep all of this in mind. Apart from this, the railway is also planning to uh, give a thrust on cleaning the uh, uh, stations uh, to try and make, uh, make them more people-friendly, environment-friendly. There are some of the areas that the railway plans to now uh, uh, give a major emphasis on. Gargi. All right, so that's what we can expect uh, from the railway budget. But let's find out what people want and what they expect. Uh, Monidipa, tell us about uh, what people in Kolkata want. Well, I'm in Hara station at the moment, one of the oldest and certainly a big one. You can see the crowd of passengers behind me arriving in a local train. Uh, apparently, Hara station sees 8 to 10 lakh people passing through it every day. But I was here a short while ago speaking to passengers of a long distance train. And here is the problem they were talking about, the problem of toilets, the absence of bio toilets. One of the most uncomfortable things you have to do on a train journey is use the toilet, especially when you know that all the waste is directly hitting the rail tracks. So in a few years, 21-22 we believe, Indian Railways wants bio loose on all trains. And I think we've got lucky, we've hit one right here on this train. If you take a look at this, and I know this is a little gross, but this is a bio loo where the waste is collected and then broken down and finally disposed of in a scientific manner. Let me ask passengers what they feel about it. Sir, you are going to the train. You have to use the bathroom in the train. What do you think about the trains in the bathroom? What do you think about the trains in the bathroom? In the bathroom, the trains are okay. बहुत ट्रेनों में क्या है बाथरूम में पानी भी नहीं है अपने वॉश करना हो तो बेसिन में पानी नहीं है टॉयलेट में पानी नहीं है ये प्रॉब्लम है बहुत ट्रेनों में जैसे अहमदाबाद एक्सप्रेस जाते हैं उसमें कुछ भी नहीं है सब कुछ टूटा हुआ है एक चीज और है कि ये जो पुराने ट्रेन्स में बाथरूम्स हैं वो पूरा खुला है हाँ, नीचे हाँ, हाँ, उस बारे में आपको क्या लगता है बहुत मतलब इच्छा नहीं होती वो बाथरूम में बैठने की 
ये कंडीशन रहती है बाथरूम की अहमदाबाद एक्सप्रेस लास्ट वीक में मैं गया था एसी टू टायर से ही ना उसमें पानी है ना हैंगर अपने कपड़ा रखने के लिए हैंगर है नहीं वो बात नहीं मैं पूछ रही हूँ बायो टॉयलेट नहीं है तो जो गंदगी निकलती है वो पूरा ट्रैक पे आ जाए ट्रैक पाती है बराबर इसमें भी वही सिस्टम है जो भी अपने बायो टॉयलेट है वो नीचे अपने ट्रैक पर चली जाती है सारी Well, here I am at Howrah Station. Lots of passengers around me, and they have other issues as well. But let me ask them, sir, आप local train use करते हैं? हाँ, वो करते हैं. Local train में तो toilet नहीं होता है. Toilet नहीं. कितना समस्या होता है? समस्या तो है. क्यों बताइए? समस्या है अगर journey ज़्यादा रहता है तो उसमें toilet आ गया आदमी को तो problem होता है. यही समस्या. आपको क्या लगता है? Toilet लगाना चाहिए local train में? ये हमें लगता है नहीं लगाना चाहिए. क इतने भीड़ ज्यादा रहती है कि लगा के कोई फायदा नहीं क्यों ट्रैफिक मतलब भीड़ ज्यादा रहती है और आप बताइए हिंदी बोलते पा रहे तो हिंदी में बताइए कि लोकल ट्रेन में टॉयलेट नहीं होता है इस बारे में आपको क्या लगता है होना चाहिए ट्रेन तो टाइम में चलना चाहिए लोकल ट्रेन में टॉयलेट नहीं होगा तो क्या फायदा क्यों लंबे डिस्टेंस ऐसी आएंगे टॉयलेट नहीं होगा होना चाहिए क्या करना है इसमें दिक्कत नहीं होती है कभी कभी दिक्कत तो होती है कभी कभार स्टेशन में उतर के भागो हाँ और क्या इसी उतरने भागने ही पड़ता है किसी को सो नो बायो टॉयलेट्स येट इन ऑल इंडियन ट्रेन्स एंड इन फैक्ट इन लोकल ट्रेन्स देर आर नो टॉयलेट्स अट ऑल नाउ आई नो दिस इज अ स्लाइटली ग्रोस इश्यू बट बिलीव मी इट इज ऑन द माइंड्स ऑफ पैसेंजर्स हियर टुडे Right, and it's a very important issue at that moment. Deepa, thanks so much for joining us uh, with that. Uh, let's go across to Anand now in Chandigarh. Anand, uh, what are the big issues? The connectivity in Haryana and, and Punjab is, is one of the uh, one of the most wanted things uh, by the people there. That's right, Gargi. You know, Chandigarh being the capital city for the two states, Punjab and Haryana, a big issue is connectivity because uh, people from both the states, uh, far corners of the states, uh, come to Chandigarh for their uh, works uh, done at the capital city. But connectivity remains a huge issue because uh, Chandigarh used to be a very small station, but of late, uh, uh, some connectivity has been provided, but that's not. Enough. Let me just speak to some passengers here uh, who travel daily in the trains. आप मुझे बताइए जब सरकार बनी थी तो एकदम से सबसे पहले किराया बढ़ाया गया ये कहते हुए कि इसको एक world class stations बनाया जाएगा, world class facilities दी जाएंगी. आपको लगता है कुछ फर्क आया है पिछले नौ महीनों में किराया तो बढ़ा जरूर. किराया तो बढ़ा है सर कोई फर्क नहीं है. तो trains में सर सफाई का कोई प्रबंध नहीं है. ठीक है और दूसरी बात तो सर stations पे गंदगी बहुत है. ठीक है चंडीगढ़ सिटी में तो है कि अच्छा है लेकिन हम बाला स्टेशन्स हो गए और अदर अदर स्टेशन्स हो गए दिल्ली में भी मैं गया हूँ दिल्ली स्टेशन्स में मतलब इतना नहीं सफाई का कोई वो नहीं है क्लीनलीनेस रिमेंस एन इश्यू गार्गी फॉर यू नो वेरी वेरी यू गो एनी स्टेशन यू गो आप मुझे बताइए कि आप डेली पैसेंजर और रोज आते जाते हो किन समस्याओं से आपको दो चार होना पड़ता है समस्या तो बहुत है ये एक आदि समस्या हो तो उसको बताया भी है समस्या तो बहुत है सबसे मेन तो समस्या यही है कि जगाधरी से आते हैं हम डेली खड़े होके आते हैं ना ही ट्रेन से कोई ट्रेन आती है कोई कभी होता है भी ट्रेन से ट्रेनें आ रही हैं नहीं तो डेली ऐसा ही है रोज लेट ही आ रहे हैं और कई बार जैसे कहते हैं मोदी साहब ने सफाई करवा दिया ठीक है जी मानते हैं ट्रेन में हम ऐसा कोई तो नहीं होगा अभी जिस दिन हम मतलब कि ट्रेन में स्लीपर को अपने आप लेते हैं यहाँ से बुला के अपने आप ही डब्बे की सफाई करवाते हैं मतलब आप कह रहे हैं कि मोदी साहब बाकी जगह सफाई की बजाय ट्रेन की सफाई करवा दे वही बहुत है हाँ जरूरी है सर मेन चीज ये है ना जैसे पसिंजर ट्रेन है उसमें पसिंजर जा रहे हैं ठीक है अब माल गाड़ी पीछे से आ रही है ये माल गाड़ी को क्रॉसिंग कर देंगे पसिंजर गाड़ी को रोक देंगे डेली के जो मतलब की सर्विस मैन है जा रहे हैं उसमें और जो स्टूडेंट जा रहे हैं मतलब की वो पसिंजर गाड़ी को रोक के माल गाड़ी को क्रॉसिंग दे देंगे जो उसकी गलत चीज है इस चीज का ध्यान रखना चाहिए Gargi, you, you heard from the passengers themselves. You know, be it any railway station, uh, the, the issues of safety, issues of cleanliness, hygiene, and connectivity are everywhere, and Chandigarh is no exception to that. All right, Anand, thanks so much for joining us uh, with what the people in Chandigarh want. Let's go across to Nikita now, who joins us from Mumbai. Nikita, what are the demands of the people there? We're just going to talk to them, you know, from Mumbai, local trains are really the lifeline of the city. So it's a, the railway budget is something that everybody looks forward to with a lot of anticipation and with a lot of keenness. And I have a group of young girls with me. I'm just going to speak to them. For you, what's really the most important thing in the trip? Cleanliness is the most important thing. 
the train should be the railway should look after the cleanliness of the train because nowadays people eat mold oranges and throw the peels of oranges so the railway should um, more concerned about the cleanliness and there should be toilets and each train because in case of emergency we have to get down at each and every station and go uh, and search for the washrooms and the washrooms of the railways are not so clean so and each and every station the washroom should also be clean so uh, the girls can find it more comfortable in using the washrooms of the train absolutely toilets is very important i think everywhere across the board and in the railways especially because so many people travel by the railway but what else what else is really i think there should be an easier access to get in and out of trains because in a crowded train if i'm standing near the door then it becomes very difficult to get out of the train because those standing in the platform are in a hurry to get in first absolutely and that also leads to accidents because there's a huge gap between the train and the platform what else there should be a more security for the ladies to the uh, gang that is more uh, more now big nowadays so there should be a no more security and for one and other things should be a more ladies compartment should be there what about metro you also travel by metro you would travel by metro i i think that that here should be a same way of metro should be here also so you happy with the services of the metro when you would expect the railways to sort of ape that what about you what do you think the railways need i think the frequency of fast local should be increased because i live in ambarnath and it takes around 20 uh, one hour 20 minutes to reach there and if i miss a train here it takes around 45 minutes more for the next train to arrive so it um, the crowd increases and it's difficult to get in and you know it's rush in the train so you know i think more frequency of trains more toilets a lot of other things i think mainly people here are really asking for better infrastructure and mumbai has proposed actually a, a projects worth over rupees 11000 crores under the new budget for new lines for new coaches for station makeovers and the hope the hope really is that all of the demands will be met All right Nikita thanks so much for joining us there and Monideepa and Siddharth so lots of expectations ahead of Suresh Prabhu's first railway budget